Hi, I am David Lee, a licensed acupuncturist and a practitioner of Korean Sasang for Constitutional Medicine. Today we will be discussing about a common condition, low back pain and sciatica using bisoma acupuncture. This patient is female, age 85. She's retired, living at home with an extended family. She has chronic low back pain with right sciatica. She had cortisone shot, which has slightly helped in relieving the pain, and, but it was temporary. Her diagnosis was a degenerative joint disease and moderate stenosis in lumbar three to five. Stenosis, from my experience, of all the different type of vertebrae conditions, it's the most challenging to treat. She happened to though have a good relief with bisoma acupuncture. Her pain was worse with prolonged sitting, standing and lying down, even at nighttime when she's in bed trying to go to sleep or stay asleep. Her right foot felt heavy with a strange sensation. It was difficult to stand or even walk, let alone walking across the room. Because when I saw her on the first day, her getting onto the treatment table, she was hobbling. She took four NSAIDs per day. Up until one month ago, she was able to walk up to 20 minutes. I gave her right side acupuncture. It was Yang points in the wood order of gallbladder 44, small intestine 2, stomach 43, LI5, stomach 36. UB40 is as good as stomach 36. I chose stomach 36 because it's easier to access. Plus earth points, LI3, small intestine 3, UB65, and gallbladder 41. I chose the right side, not because she had the right side pain. It does not matter whether I choose the left or right. Just have to be the correct points. And I chose the right yang points instead of yin points. That does not matter either because yin points have the same result as yang points. I chose yang points arbitrarily. She was diagnosed as lesser yin and greater yin combination. Lesser yin means too much water, not enough earth. Greater yin means too much wood and not enough metal. Fire is by default deficient for this constitution. There are other names other than Sasang Soomin, which means in Korean, lesser yin person. This is the same diagnosis as Kapha in Ayurveda, affiliation in need theory, conscientious in social styles, and melancholic in Unani. This is the course of treatment that I gave to her and saw this progress. Total of 10 acupuncture treatments so far for five weeks at twice a week visit. The first visit in metal order of LI1, UB66, gallbladder 41, small intestine 5, stomach 36. Those are all horary points in the order of metal, water, wood, fire, earth. They immediately helped to relieve the pain and it was quite significant into the second visit. Almost as much relief as it was a month ago. So I repeated the metal order on the, on the second visit, but it was not additionally helpful. Rather, the pain incrementally came back. By the third visit, most of the pain had come back. So I thought maybe she needed alternative acupuncture points, which were gallbladder 44, small intestine 2, stomach 43, LI5, and stomach 36. They're all also horary points, alternative horary points. And they were immediately helpful again, not as much as the first visit, but by the fourth visit, it was still better. So I repeated the wood order points and she continued to improve. By the sixth visit, I figured out what her body type was, and I added those additional earth points, LI3, small intestine 3, UB65, and gallbladder 44. She continued to improve further. 
By the ninth visit, she was able to walk in up and down the stairs comfortably and she did not need medication. By the 10th visit, she reported that she's able to walk up to 20 minutes like she was able to before. Discussion. Some patients experience dramatic and stable relief because of their high reactivity to acupuncture. She's over 80 years old and she has significant arthritis and she had chronic pain. Acupuncture was immediately helpful for two reasons. One, she needed to get the correct acupuncture points. And she's highly reactive to acupuncture. Some people with the same condition are not as reactive as other people. She happened to be reactive to acupuncture. That's why her body responded quite well. Due to her old age and moderate lumbar disease, she was recommended to continue acupuncture at once a week for several times and then further taper down the visits to minimize the likelihood of recurrence. She was coming in twice a week for acupuncture. Now she's going to come in for acupuncture once a week for several weeks. After that, we'll try to taper down the visit further so that she's stable over time with her improved state. Especially for the elderly, it's important to have a higher quality of daily living. It's because they are dependent on their family for a variety of things. So for them to be more independent is quite important. Also, moving helps to circulate, tone, and improve the overall health of the body.